Hey guys, today I'm going to show you an awesome colony. A huge colony called Tetraponera rufo nigra. It's the only ant colony in the ant room that is giving me the chills. They have stung me two times, but didn't feel pleasant at all. As you can see, the colony is very big, so I need to be careful during my maintenance. Look at this amazing brood pile. I have a Tetraponera colony, but this colony isn't mine. This colony is living here for a couple of months, and although they can be a pain in the ass, they are truly a spectacle to watch. They escaped three times already from their setup because it has small gaps. They are fast, agile and have the ability to see, which didn't help at all. I duct taped the entire outworld to make sure it would never happen again. Duct tape can fix anything. Along with the colony I received some feeder insect, which they consumed a lot. It took me a while to notice that the feeder insect has mites. The colony is doing a lot better now, but still are recovering from the mites. I had to remove the outworld and clean everything out. I added some lime and predatory mites. And now, after 3 weeks, I reconnected a new clean outworld and it seems they are doing a lot better. With a colony this size, there's always something to see. Like beautiful alates with wings. Or an anitic, almost ready for a first walk and being helped by another worker. Or these workers, taking care of the brood. You can easily spot the difference between the new eggs and the older ones. I wanted to record them feeding as well, but a lot of the times they eat when I'm not in the end room. So all you guys are getting is a small nibble. I gave them a lot of fresh goodies in their new fresh outworld. But all they did was discover for hours. These ants have remarkable behavior and go to an alert state of mind as soon as I enter the ant room. Like I said, most of the times they forage at night. When I was checking for the mice I kept looking for the queen as well, to make sure she was safe. But I noticed she was turning around a lot, so I decided to spectate some more. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. The queen is laying an egg. Look really closely. As you can see, a worker on standby. And there it is. Amazing, isn't it? Every now and then, between the egg laying, the queen is leaking fluid. Most of the time some worker will clean up after her, but sometimes she turns around and dusts herself. The queen is laying another egg. I wonder how long this will continue. I wish I could spectate some more, but I do have a social life. I've watched for over an hour and she has laid 6 eggs in total. And in between there's a lot of turning around and fluid leaking. As you can see, the queen has been really productive. Brood everywhere you look. Brood. 
All of the eggs and the small larvae are on the top floor. And all of the floors below are filled with bigger larvae and pupae. Workers always busy relocating the brood. But the newborns can figure it out for themselves. I'm glad I got to observe the colony while they were staying at my house. The queen laying eggs made it extra special. I will post some extra footage just for the ones that just can't get enough of it. If you liked this video, I would appreciate it a lot if you would subscribe, comment and like. And I hope to see you in the next one. Got this far, you can just as well subscribe. Bye bye.